questo è il nostro regno, è la curva nord. Quanti anni che ti Ma io ho 22 anni di militanza allo stadio di curva. The Olympic Stadium, home to both Lazio Football Club and its arch rivals Roma. Fabrizio is Lazio's most powerful fan. Questo invece è il regno delle merde. Ecco. La Roma. Sì, sì, questo è il regno delle merde. Questo è il viale dove venivamo a fare incidenti contro i tifosi ospiti. Eh? Sì, perché qui vengono i tifosi ospiti, no? L'ultimo derby è successo con la polizia. Sì. L'ultimo derby la, la Digos ha pensato bene di di perquisire e portare via dei nostri ragazzi due ore prima, tre ore prima del, del derby. Quindi ci sono stati 40 minuti di scontri in curva, 40 minuti di scontri in curva giustificati da, 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 da questa situazione. Fabrizio, irriducibili. Guarda, <ride> irriducibili. In Italy, football hooligans are called ultras. Fabrizio is the leader of the Lazio ultras, known as the Irreducibili, or the Unbeatables. They stand here on the Curva Nord, the North Terrace, and support Lazio, one of the biggest and wealthiest clubs in the world. The current squad alone is said to be worth around 200 million pounds. Despite playing for the club over a decade ago, West Ham's Paolo Di Canio is still the idol of the Irreducibili. As a boy, he stood here with them. I remember uh, one day he came out of the, the big uh, band with the Irreducibili. It was, uh, for me, Irreducibili, it was a new, new group. And then uh, once I saw that uh, group, I, I thought I'd like to join them because they are very good as a supporter so for a team. Di Canio also remembers the irreducibili leader, Fabrizio. Like in a team, you can see the people in the way they, they behave, you in the way they act, you recognize them the leaders. There were a few in the irreducibili that didn't need to introduce themselves with the high I am Fabrizio di Amboli because of course, you recognize at the beginning. As leader of the Irreducibili, Fabrizio is flanked by his two right-hand men, Toffolo and Yuri. Between them, they're able to mobilize the 10,000 or so fans who stand in the North Terrace. The Irreducibili have their own infrastructure, well beyond the stadium. They own these headquarters in the center of Rome, and their own daily radio station, called The Voice from the North Terrace. All this is funded predominantly with their merchandise business. They franchise and stock 14 shops in and around Rome with their own Irriducibili Lazio brand. We have the right, we have the right, because no one has ever thought of this. The Lazio has 4 points of sale, but then, piano piano, they have been closed and they have remained one solo. Questo è business, business se, se lavori in base ai risultati della Lazio, in questo momento non è business perché la Lazio leggermente sta andando male. At the Olympic Stadium, Fabrizio can get members of Lazio's Irreducibili in for free. He can also make the entire North Terrace protest. Today they're accusing the underperforming Lazio team of being overpaid mercenaries. Al mondo d'oggi noi insegniamo più ad amare il simbolo, no? per noi il simbolo è l'Aquila, l'Aquila quindi la maglia perché mai i giocatori a cui ti puoi affezionare che comunque ti danno qualcosa non esistono più. Ma eh, che dici sono troppo ben pagati adesso? Dici? Sicuramente la rovina del calcio e di parecchi giocatori è quello, girano troppi soldi. È una categoria eh, la quale gioca, non gioca, lavora, non lavora, prende ugualmente soldi. The fans hold up placards with Paolo Di Canio's name to show the Lazio team the sort of commitment they expect. La cosa più bella ci potrebbe regalare questo presidente è il ritorno di Di Canio. Paolo era uno di noi, Paolo era uno che stava in curva e lo dimostra perché in campo 
il campo ha più del tifoso che del calciatore. In a demonstration of their power, the Lazio hardcore, the Irriducibili, show their disgust at the present team by clearing the terraces for 20 minutes. If they protest in this moment, it's it because they saw during the season that uh, uh, maybe some players didn't give it their best. I never had problem with the supporters because they know that I can miss a goal, I can miss penalty, I can have a bad game, but never, never they're gonna see me give up or play the 50-60% because uh, I am the reflection of the supporters. A week on, and the Irrotushibili are continuing their protest. It's one of Lazio's best performances of the season. They take the lead, but the Irrotushibili refuse to cheer or support them. The more goals Lazio score, the more their hardcore supporters protest. Yuri and the Irrotushibili notice that some Lazio fans on another part of the terrace have dared to applaud. Some go and attack them. One man ends up in hospital. Lazio win 5-0, but the Irrotushibili still protest, chanting at their fellow fans. Come potere? Non lo so, cioè non è che è potere questo. Il potere ce l'hanno i politici. Ma il potere è come. Se vuoi andare a vedere i giocatori, puoi andare a vedere i giocatori. E certo. Vabbè, perché a Londra non è così. No. Non ti fanno. no, niente. Ah, durante la settimana non puoi andare a vedere gli allenamenti. Niente. Forse sì, ma non è che puoi andare. Va bene, ci saranno dei capi tifosi che potranno andare no. a cedere... No. Ah, no. The hardcore Lazio fans have decided to take their protest against the players to Formello, Lazio's training ground outside Rome. Yuri appeals for calm. Non girate niente, state tranquilli, non scavarcate. Sì, ma per quanto? Adesso 5 minuti, apro, sta la veglia prima, stanno tutti a girare sotto lì. Alessandro Nesta, Lazio's captain and a top Italian international, agrees to call in Fabrizio and the other irriducibili leaders for a chat with the squad. The meeting lasts 20 minutes. They decide to wipe the slate clean. Vabbè, non è che stiamo a fare, noi abbiamo chiesto solo una cosa. Noi abbiamo poi, chiesto l'impegno. L'impegno, perché noi ricominciamo, per noi ricomincia domenica il campionato. Cioè, e niente, loro se dovranno no, studiare il motivo no. dei cazzi loro, però cioè, a questo punto pure noi guardando se in faccia eh, il dovere nostro è far tipo, perché un po' si rischia di andare a qui. But every time I tell the, my teammates in England that situation, they don't believe in me, they have to watch with their eyes because, because um, we have different courses or different cards because uh, um, I don't know, it's a completely different, so we have different rules. In Italy, uh, there's still a lot of power in the hands of the little people, of the fans themselves. Uh, they can still command the clubs, in some cases, even as to which players they buy and sell. And unfortunately, whilst it's nice that in this uh, multinational era for football, that the fans do have some stay still in Italy, Almost universally, what they're using it to say are very negative things. Lazio's hooligans have become notorious for racist chanting, part of a worrying rise in Italian racism after a recent increase in immigration. Fabrizio's views are explicit. It disturbs me to think that in the future the Italian race will become mixed like it is in England. You know, it disturbs me. It's unbelievable. 
You go to Lazio and hear the fans making all these noises. I don't know how many of them do it, but it's unbelievable. The French international Lillian Turam was playing in Italy for Parma when he refused to transfer to Lazio because of their fans. In a sign of their power, the Irudu Shibali went to meet him. I think they scared Turam actually more than anything else by uh, by managing to, to book an appointment with a you know a, a major city our player and, and wander into the training gra ground as a kind of uh, representatives of some major Roman power. No, but anche questo è stato strano. Yes, even this was very strange. I never understood how they actually got in. In Italy, the fans are very powerful, and I really don't understand it. Yeah, yeah, we went to him and he said, of course you can join Lazio. You know, we've got a black player in the youth team, we get on fine with him. No, come on. How could I go and play for Lazio knowing what they're like? It'd be impossible. In Italy, the link between politics and the football hooligans has a darker side. When you go around Rome, I think something that, that would shock people who haven't been here is how much uh, extremist graffiti there is. But the curious thing about all this is, is that 80% of the time, to put a rough figure on it, those right-wing symbols are coming in football context, like you see a piece of graffiti about Roma or about Lazio, and it'll be accompanied by by the Celtic cross or by the swastika. Lazio's Irudushibili have always had links to the far right. Italy's hooligan groups were heavily influenced by the war between left and right wing terrorists in the 70s and 80s. You had mm, groups like uh, Milan, Bologna, uh, Firenze, uh, which were, mm, which belonged to the uh, left wing movement and groups like Verona, Inter, uh, Lazio, which belong to the uh, right-wing movement. This terrorist was once full of our right-wing comrades. Many of them died fighting for the cause in the streets and against the police. Every Sunday you'd see them here on the North Terrace. They have their faces covered with scarves, supporting Lazio. Some still come to the game. I guess they're lucky to have found in us a new generation willing to carry on the work. Old political rivalries have forged friendships beyond Italy. On board is a Chelsea hooligan and far-right activist. I've been coming out for uh, too many years. Um, through connections I made in, or well, friends of mine and I made in uh, London, uh, through, at the time, the British movement and the National Front. And um, I've been coming since. Yeah, basically it's a fascist thing. On the train, too, a militants from the extreme right-wing group, Forza Nuova, the Italian National Front. They've been trying to recruit from the Lazio terraces. Yeah, we know people from Forza Nuova, and we have good relationships with them on a, on a friendship level. But our power is the power of the Iriducibili, and nobody else's. We created our own power, and I'd never let anyone take that away from us. Awaiting the Irudushibili in Bergamo is a heavy police presence. But at the ground, they're able to burst inside without paying. Atalanta fans display a Che Guevara flag and Lazio reply with right-wing militant songs, 
invoking the days of the fascist dictator Benito Mussolini. As both sets of fans trade abuse, Lazio take the lead. The ultras celebrate their winning goal with flares and abuse. And, again, chance of Duce, Mussolini's title. Only a heavy police presence stops the two rival groups clashing. With one week to go before Rome's own massive derby, Lazio against Roma, the Lazio Iridulcibili have started work on the banners for it. They're an important part of Italian terrace culture. The design comes from da delle idee studiate i giorni precedenti da, sia dai capi de, del gruppo che sia dai ragazzi che, che stanno nel gruppo. E lì si fa una selezione dei vari disegni fino a trovare l'ideale, quello là che ci rappresenta più anche in questo momento. But the Lazio banners also show their extreme politics. Fascist symbols, like the Celtic cross, have been common. Some are deliberately provocative. These read, Team of Negroes, Terrace of Jews. In an attempt to keep politics out of the stadium, overtly fascist banners have been made illegal. Today, the police have come to check them. L'alfabeto runico, non c'è niente di runico, sarebbe inerente al periodo codico, capito? Eh? No, è tutto inerente a questo, su questi stand no, leva la certi, non c'è niente la certa, questo è proprio l'alfabeto. Quell'altro ti faccio vedere tutta la lista. Fu offensivo che può essere, se è andato a Barcellona sei partito da Valona. Lazio are about to play Roma. Il Discibili Radio is taking calls. Io mi guarda, Fred, non lo so, se esiste in Cristo un dio del pallone, io vorrei vincere, un, vorrei vincere il derby con un autorità. Cioè, le faccio conoscere da amici mia che state cazzo sogni, lì del Piacenza, i ragazzi di Piacenza. Before the match, Fabrizio meets some of the many right wing activists who have come from other clubs around the country to support Lazio. Fabrizio goes to collect the banners for the game. At the stadium, the head of security makes a final selection of which banners are to be allowed in or not. But tensions quickly start to build outside the Lazio end of the stadium. Passata una macchina con bandiere vestili della Roma sotto la curva. Questo questo vuol dire essere incosciente, vuol dire sfidare una tifoseria e questo crea incidenti. As more cars with Roma flags pass by, the Iridushibili turn their anger on the police. Another car with Roma flags passes. It's set alight. The police move in. The Lazio hooligans hand round flares. The 
the police are pinned back. As the battle rages outside, the gates are open to ease the situation. The Lazio fans stream through without tickets. There's four hours to go till kickoff. The violence before the Lazio Roma game means the atmosphere is already strained. Fabrizio Yuri and the Irriducibili leaders take their usual place by the pitch. Fabrizio talks to the son of Lazio's president about the Lazio fans' upcoming display. They unfurl the showpiece banner. It's 60 meters by 60 meters. Fabrizio takes his place on the terrace. He's happy with the banner. Grande diavolo, bellissima come cosa. Bella, bella, è fascista, giusto? Within 10 minutes, Roma score, and the atmosphere changes. At half time, Lazio are 3 0 down. The match is no longer important. Outside, cars and kiosks are set alight. At the front, right-wing political activists as well as hardcore Lazio fans. They're trying to get to the South Terrace, Roma's end. But they're just as happy to fight the police. After repeated running battles, the Lazio hooligans flee back into the stadium. The 
police fire tear gas onto the terrace. Fighting continues for the whole second half. Lazio lose 5-1. To Fabrizio, the violence was no surprise. What happened at the derby was inevitable. We were 3-0 down at half time. And then, if you take into account what happened with the police in the last derby, that was always going to kick off. Earlier in the season, the police launched an unprovoked attack on us. So we gave them our reply this time round. Three days after the derby, there was another protest at Lazio's training ground at Formello. This time, no one could calm the fans down. To lose a derby 5-1 with a team that cost millions and have paid millions is disgraceful. The Lazio hooligans attacked their own players. They saw no passion, uh, people maybe without desire. Uh, this has made them very furious, I remember when they attacked the Formel, it wasn't nice to watch, so it wasn't very, very good, but I can understand, but I, I don't accept it. But Fabrizio, like Rafa at Boca Juniors, has ambitions for even greater power. This should be a new starting point with the next group of players who come to play for this club. We'll make sure the new players are shown the footage of the derby, the rioting afterwards, and the attack at the training ground. So before they sign on that dotted line, they'll know the responsibilities they have and the sort of commitment that we fans expect. Lazio's hooligans, violent and politically motivated, have claimed a unique power in a multi-billion pound football industry. Like their counterparts around the world, they serve warning that today's football hooligan groups are more organized, ambitious and potentially more dangerous than ever before.